Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Najib Haddad. Uh, I'm one of the product managers uh, responsible for the Cisco 8000. Uh, what I'll do in the next uh, five, 10 minutes, we'll introduce the models that we're bringing to the market in the next six months. I'll talk about one important piece, uh, which is the how to position the Cisco 8000, uh, as we have a strong, large portfolio for the SP and uh, overall cloud providers. Uh, and uh, show you some of the roadmap of what's coming in the next 12 months. Okay, so uh, for the next uh, six months, uh, we're introducing a set of models that is fixed platforms uh, and modular platforms uh, with uh, uh, powered by the uh, uh, Cisco Silicon One. Uh, these all called now 8000 series. Uh, our internal program, uh, we refer to it as Spitfire. Um, so uh, the fixed platform, as you see on the screen on the left side, we have two models. Uh, 80201, 80 uh, Both of them uh, have one single silicon, a 10.8 terabit. Uh, the 80201 is a 400 gig optimized. The 80202 is a 100 gig optimized platforms. Uh, the modular systems are eight slot, 12 slot, and 18 slot. Uh, with these systems, we're introducing two line cards. One is 100 gig, uh, 48 by 100 gig, and the other one is a 400 gig, 14.4 terabit. That's 36 by 400 gig. The 100 gig line card is MAXIC enabled line rate. Uh, the 400 gig is not, but we're introducing one later, a year later, that will bring MAXIC on a 400 gig. Um, I'm showing here some of the impressive numbers. Quick question regarding MAXIC, how, uh, what is the encryption rate that you can do? Uh, 256. Yeah. Yes. Um, so one of the things I'm showing here, which is very important, is uh, the power. So this, these things, uh, LJ will cover details how we get to these numbers. But as you can see, you can get now a 10 uh, terabit router in a one RU just about 400 watt, 415 watt exactly. This is with no optics. So that's impressive for uh, these models. And on the modular side, it's 11 watt per 100 gig. And that's very competitive. Uh, from a density perspective, if you look at the 18 slot, that will be the biggest router introduced in the industry. That's 260 terabit. The nearest one will be 200 theory introduced around the same time frame. Uh, one of the cool things about uh, the modular systems is uh, they are designed, and LJ will go through the details. They are designed for 100 gig optimized, where you get a lower power, lower cost total if you want to just use it for 100 gig line cards. And if you want to upgrade to 400 gig, you can still get the same high availability with no, um, uh, with no compromise. So you get the fabric redundancy N plus one, and we are unique based on what we see uh, from other competitive platforms. We are the only one who is delivering 14.4 terabit with fabric redundancy in a modular system. Um, let me tell you a little bit what we've been doing in the last, I would say, 10 months. We already shipped actually this platform back in September to Saudi Telecom. Uh, we also shipped to a few others. Um, uh, and we've been engaged with over 15 uh, major customers, 11 of them running EFTs. Um, these are across the globe with different providers, be it service providers, telecom service providers, cable or uh, cloud customers. And we feel uh, very proud of the quality we're delivering with this platform. In fact, last month in December, we ran a major CPAC for Vodafone. And for a week, they were impressed by the quality and the level of the performance we're delivering with the features uh, with this platform. <clears throat> Let's talk about the positioning. As a new platform, uh, we want to focus on the quality. Okay, We want to deliver something that, uh, that will um, reflect on um, um, the needs of service provider when it comes to quality and performance. So we're focusing on a small set of use cases. These are core LSR use case and the cloud aggregation use case. The cloud aggregation is sort of the spine and super spine roles within the uh, large uh, cloud providers, data centers. Um, so uh, these, the, the platform runs 100 gig, but it's optimized for 400 gigs. That's where you get the highest density. Uh, with this platform. 
I talked uh, a bit about the high availability, no compromise there. We, uh, we will talk about uh, security features, not only from the software, but we were the first router to enable hardware um, uh, verification and, and authentication. So this is uh, for um, any tampering with hardware through manufacturing or uh, supply chain. Um, unprecedented uh, capabilities when it comes to scale performance um, and the capability of the ASIC, the programmability that gives us the agility of how we deliver features. Um, the silicon itself, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but it's a unique uh, architecture and LJ will go through a lot of these details. But from a, then for the next 12 months, this is positioned for core LSR and cloud aggregation use cases. Okay. Uh, can I don't know, get you uh, a little bit later to the point, trust the software and hardware. How do you ensure that nobody has, let's say, changed any components when they arrive uh, at the customer side, yeah? Yeah, so, are you gonna cover that, LJ? And Not specifically, but I mean, it's, uh, there's a trusted platform module, it's a, it's a physical hardware key that's built onto the board, and any other components that are active enough that they can be tampered with and do anything to the software have to be essentially signed through the supply chain. And so the TPM has those signatures with the manufacturing signature. And at boot, if those signatures don't check, the system doesn't boot. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, we have the NCS 5500, which is also positioned in core LSR cloud aggregation. Uh, and we want to make sure um, our teams and sales teams and customers understand the positioning uh, of uh, Cisco 8000 against the NCS 5500. The Cisco 5500 is the fast ramping product we have actually now. Uh, it's very popular, uh, widely deployed across different use, many use cases. It's been in the market for over two years. So we're covering with the 5500 broader set of use cases. Uh, it has um, a broader uh, also uh, capabilities when it comes to port uh, from one gig all the way to 400 gig. On the 8000 as an example, you don't see, because this is more of a 100 gig, 400 gig platform, you don't see us supporting one gig. We do 10 gig through breakouts. Um, it has also uh, coherent optics through um, CFP2 DCO integration. Um, on the Cisco 8000, we're gonna, um, for IP over Ethernet over fiber architectures, we're gonna utilize the ZR, ZR Plus. Um, and um, for customers who are, as an example, uh, already deployed NCS 5500, they did qualification, uh, they wanna upgrade to 400 gig, they will continue to uh, purchase the, uh, 400, uh, the 5500 uh, line cards. Um, for customers who are who need the 14.4 terabit enabled platforms, either they're running it immediately or they start with 100 gig, we want to position the Cisco 8000 for the core LSR and cloud aggregation use cases. And we will work with our sales teams um, in any opportunities where uh, there is no cl a clear um, line between what to position and we will help them based on the feature set uh, the, the scale and performance needed to position either one of the platforms. But definitely if our sales teams, they see the situation is competing against Juniper or Arista with a 14.4 terabit per slot, we want to start the discussion with the Cisco 8000 for core LSR and cloud aggregation use case. From a roadmap perspective, uh, as I mentioned, we already shipped on a limited availability back in September. Uh, for the general market, we'll start shipping in March. That's when we ship the eight slot, 12 slot, and the 8021, the one, one RU fixed platform, with both line cards, the modular platforms, the 100 gig line card and 400 gig line card. We'll bring the 82202, the 100 gig optimized fixed platform, that's the two RU, in Q2 around June time frame. Um, and the 18 slot will come out also in June, um, um, for the general market. On the radar, we're looking at the end of the year uh, to bring uh, uh, one in new fixed platform based on the next generation ASIC, that's a 12.8 terabit of the Cisco Silicon one. Uh, that will be a 32 by 400 gig one RU fixed. 
Uh, and we also will introduce the Terra 6 by 400 gig with MaxSec um, line card. From a software perspective, um, we starting with the 7011, uh, 7.0.12 uh, software, um, and we'll enable core LSR capabilities in 7.0.12. That's coming out next month. And we will continue to focus on the next 12 months to enhance the features for these two use cases. Uh, so we'll add uh, things like um, SRTE, L3, L3 VPN, and the 7.2 uh, X or y, or y release. And, in the, and that's already execute committed. We're planning the 73Y uh, release, the 731. We're looking into adding capabilities around Flex, Algo, uh, TI, LFA, uh, performance monitoring for SR, and adding timing capabilities. 